Good morning, artists. Last week we learned about how lines and shapes make houses, and today we're going to begin to learn about how lines and shapes create different kinds of animals. Over the next several weeks, we'll focus in on one animal at a time and learn how to draw them step by step to make them look real. We will use these really cool things called animal drawing sheets to guide us along the way. Today, we're going to learn how to draw a fish. Now remember, this is only one way to draw a fish, but once you get the ha handle on drawing the general shapes, you can turn it into any kind of fish that you'd like by adding details. So here is a picture of, or a drawing I should say, of where we're headed. Here is where we're going to start. The first thing that you will need is a piece of paper. And you'll also need a pencil to begin, of course. And then later on, you will need a black marker. So, you know, you could use a Crayola marker. I like to use a permanent marker or a Sharpie, but whatever you have on hand is fine. And if you don't have any markers on hand today, that's fine too, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And so if we look at our animal drawing sheet, the first thing that I see is that there's a line. So I see that there's a line right here. Now keep in mind that some of the lines that we're gonna draw today are called guidelines, which means they're just to help guide our drawing, but they'll be erased later on. So what that means is we need to make them really kind of lightly so that they'll be easier for us to erase. So try not to press down too hard on your pencil for any of these lines we're gonna make, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do in step number one is I'm going to create a horizontal straight line that moves from side to side just like this. So right here on my paper, I'm just gonna make a line. There it is. Next, you will notice that there is a shape on the top and also on the bottom of this line that looks like an oval. But it's a little bit different from an oval because the sides come to a point, sort of like the shape of your eye or maybe the shape of an almond. All right, so let's go ahead and try to make that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna round up and then come down. Notice I'm leaving a little bit of the line here just like my drawing sheet did. Now I'm gonna do the same shape just moving in a different direction. So I'm gonna go all the way to there. All right, so far so good. So step number one is finished. The next step, I'm gonna add some different shapes. Right here and over here as well as on the bottom and on the side of the fish's body. These are called fins, and the fins help the fish to swim through the water. Now, when I look at these fins, I notice that these two kind of looks like triangles, okay? But this one has sort of a rounded edge, so I'm gonna do my best to go ahead and draw that. I'm gonna start right at the top, and I'm gonna make a line that goes up. Then I'm gonna curve back. My next fin is gonna start right about here, and I'm gonna make it come up and then come down. All right, now let's take a look back at that sheet again. On this one, there is definitely a triangle at the bottom, and then this one almost looks like a rectangle. So I'm gonna add those next. Here is my triangle at the bottom, and then here comes my rectangle out. It squares off and then comes back. Now, if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, no big deal. You're the artist and artwork is meant to look different. All right, let's take a look back at our picture. Now I've got four fins. I need the one that's on the body. So I notice that there's a slanted line on the top and a slanted line on the bottom. Those would be diagonals, right? And then there's a vertical line. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make that. Right now I'm gonna make that line diagonal going up then a diagonal down, and here comes my vertical line. Now I have all the fins that was on the drawing sheet. Let's take a look back now. Now I notice that there is this really interesting line right here. There are actually two diagonals, or almost like an arrow point um, here on the fish. 
This is the fish's gill. Now, fish don't breathe out of their mouths and noses like we do. They have these little slits in the side of their body, and this is how they breathe underwater. So the gills are super important. I'm going to go ahead and make that line now. It's going to start right about here, and then it's going to go back like this. So again, two diagonals, almost like the point of an arrow. All right, let's look back at that sheet one more time. And I noticed that now I need to add the tail. Now take a look at that shape. What do you think it is? On the bottom, there's another shape just like it. There's two triangles that make our tail. Let's go back to our drawing. I'm now gonna make a line that goes up diagonally and comes back down to where we left our guideline. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm gonna come back to the guideline. It's really starting to look like a fish now. Now that I've done all of the steps on this side of my paper, I'm gonna flip it over. On the other side, you'll notice that we have a couple of new things added, like the eye, which is what kind of shape? A circle. There's also a little circle on the inside if you look carefully. And then I notice that there's another line here that creates the mouth. Let's head back to our drawing now. I'm gonna make a circle right about here and then make another circle inside. Next, I'm gonna make a line come all the way down just like that. Now, all the steps in this one are done, so now I'm gonna come down here. Do you notice something that has been added? A detail to make the fish look more real? There are lines that have been added to each of the fins to make them look more real. Let's try it. So, right at the edge of each of our fins, we're just gonna make a bunch of lines. Over and over again, like a pattern. Something that repeats. Here we go. Now, let's take a look back at our drawing and see if we've got everything. Now, one of the things that I notice on the eye is that they kind of fill it in, but they leave a little spot white to show the reflection on the eye, and it ends up making it look a lot more real. There it is. Now I notice that there's something that has disappeared in this step. Hmm. The guideline that we started with has been erased so that our fish looks more real. So let's come back to our drawing. This is where you need to use your eraser and just erase that line that you made. Now this is also where you can add any details to your fish that you'd like. So for example, if I wanted to make my fish have stripes, I could come through and add some stripes on the body. If you wanna leave it just the way it was, you can do that too. So there's my fish so far. Now that my fish is finished and it looks real, we need to give him a real home or habitat. So where do fish live? Of course, they live underwater. So what I'm gonna draw first at the top of my paper is a wavy line to make it look like he's underwater. Okay. Next, I'm gonna draw some things that you would find underwater. So maybe some bubbles. Maybe I'll also show where the sand is or the bottom of the ocean floor. Next, I'll add some other things. I could draw some other fish if I want to. I could make some seaweed with a wavy line and then another wavy line back. Seaweed is really fun to make. And I'm gonna make it go right off the edge of my paper here so that it looks real. All right, there's my seaweed. Next, I think that I will make some coral. Now, coral is this underwater, really it's less like a plant and more like a living thing. Um, sometimes they're called brain coral, so they look sort of like the human brain, which I think is kind of a cool idea. So I'm gonna make a little area of coral here. There's also another type of coral that looks like 
the antlers of a deer. It's called staghorn coral. So I think I'm going to add a couple of pieces of that too here to make it look really interesting underwater. Maybe I'll add some little dots just to make it look like it's sandy on the ocean floor. You could add other, you know, shells or creatures. I know in my other one I have a starfish. Any of those details are perfect for your artwork. Whatever you think would be found in their natural habitat. Now, once you get to this point and your fish is finished and your habitat's all done, now is when that marker comes into play. So you can trace all of the lines that you just drew. Now, remember, tracing is different than coloring because all you're doing is following the path of the line that you just created. You're not coloring it in. Now, by doing this, in the end, we'll end up with a piece of paper that's kind of like a coloring sheet. And it will help us to color our artwork and still see all the wonderful lines and shapes that we made to get here. I'm just going to do a little bit more. So you will continue to trace all the lines in your drawing until all of the pencil lines have been traced. When you're finished, you'll end up with an artwork that looks like this. Now, I know you'll be excited to color it, but I want you to hold off because we're gonna talk about some coloring techniques in our next video when we get back together for color next week. So, have fun drawing your fish. Can't wait to see the awesome work that you come up with, and I will be in touch with you next week. Take care, everyone.